Hello guys, this is Bull back with another Fortnite video and today we're going to be covering everything in this brand new Fortnite update. And let's just get started with this when we do cover every single update on the channel. So remember to subscribe for all of the new updates and everything Fortnite. So let's just get into this. Players, start with your cart. So basically, this is update 4.3. This has actually been long awaited and um, you guys can ride or you could ride with your friend to the brand new, it's a new shopping cart together. Um, let's just go down to the battle royale section. There is a challenge progression bar now guys, so I think a lot of people have been requesting this. This basically means when you guys are doing your challenge in game, you can actually get to be able to see the progression if you guys get some of the challenges complete. So for example, if you pick up one of the little duckies, then you're going to be able to see how many you've got left in game. So you don't need to be worrying, have I unlocked it or not, have I not unlocked it. So that's really, really good. Um, let's go down, let's go some general changes, so the turbo building, this is a big big feature that a lot of people have been requesting, this means it's going to be cutting down to 0 0.5 seconds, 0 0.15 seconds per build, it used to be 0 0.5 seconds, so it's a little bit faster, in fact it's at least 4 times faster, so this is really really good, you probably will not notice it, but it means that it's there was occasions where people had such high sensitivity, they were actually missing some building slots because they were turning so fast. So that's actually, that's going to be a big, big change for some players. Um, let's go down here. You can actually toggle the edit mode, aim assist. We did talk about this in the last update. This basically means if you guys are playing on console, which you guys probably are, I think 70% of the player base play on console anyway, when you guys are editing a structure, it means that it's, you can toggle it, so it, it usually at the moment it's actually auto aiming onto the nearest box to edit. You can actually take this off if you think that it's annoying you. To be honest, it kind of annoys me sometimes, but I'm just going to keep it on anyway, just to be sure. Um, there's a couple of bug fixes. You guys can read through the bug fixes if you guys are happy about seeing any of these. Let's go down to the Battle Royale section. So they're actually adding mushrooms to the game. Now, as you guys know, they added apples, which will give you 5 health. Um, up to 100 this will give you five shields up to 100 so it's actually going to be pretty valuable there's almost no reason to pick these things up um, no, no there's no not reason to pick these things up and these guys can be found in these shady wooded or swampy areas so this is probably going to be over by moisty mire over by a couple of the tree locations where it's a little bit swampy and shaded areas so i'm actually interested to see exactly where all of the mushrooms will be located within the map but yeah, this one looks really, really good. I'm really looking forward to seeing me use them and everybody else use them um, with some weird shield combos. So let's just go down here to the gameplay changes. They're adding these, these lovely new shopping carts you guys can ride. You can ride them with your friends. Um, you guys can also shoot from the passenger seat, which is really interesting. Um, so people are going to be... I can't wait for someone to try and do a rocket ride shopping car. I don't even know. It'd be so cool. I hope someone someone makes a clip of that. But um, they're found scattered around the map within various locations. Fall damage is enabled, so yeah, guys are gonna have to be a little bit careful when you're driving around in these. You can't just drive off the edge of of big mountains and stuff. So it's very interesting to see that. Um, Obviously the new blitz modes coming out, this is actually one of a lot of players favourite modes in fact. This is just really speeded up, There's the storms coming faster, the bus is actually closer to the ground. You guys can get into the combat very very fast. You guys can see that they've increased the chest spawn rate, they've increased the ammo spawn rate, the, the harvest things up 50%, everything. It's just a much faster game mode and all stats are counting in this mode so when they mean stats, I when they mean stats, I think they mean your challenges and some of the kill stats on the leaderboards. These these count. Also, the teams of 20 is back. This is actually one of my favourite game modes as well. This was where it's 20 versus 20 versus 20 versus 20 versus 20. And they're changing what's new. So each team now spawns in their own bus. So there's going to be at least five buses coming in, guys. And you can drop together. Chests and supply drops now spawn extra ammo and consumables. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. You can see that the each team composed of five squads and the 
the, the spawn rate of the chest ammo box is all up again. This just means because you're actually encouraged to spawn with your team, so they need to make it so the spawn rate of you know weapons and ammo is higher. So you can see here the shotgun fire just really helped elevate situations where you are hitting the world objects instead of players. This is definitely really good. Players now face correct direction when jumping off the battle bus. Supply drops no longer collide with items in the ground while landing. Visual effects no longer appear delayed after opening supply drops. These are just all minor bugs that a lot of people will be really liking anyway. A lot of performance changes, there's performance changes in every single update they do. They're always changing the performance of the game, so this is kind of irrelevant, but it's super, super, always super important to the game. Every time they bring new updates, they need to fix some of the the problems. So basically, there's audio changes, improving the rhythm of footsteps and dirt and grass moving consistently. Bouncing grenades, audio will no longer be heard after explosion. I've actually heard this before. Couple of UI changes, streamer mode now. You can see your name now, that's basically when you're spectating large teams of 20. Now select default, new players are available. Locker and items, rot uh, rotation speed is no longer. Is there anything else, guys? I don't think there's anything else. I did a custom um, hunting rifle animation for players with the weapon. Replay system smooths out the replay drone. Mobile. There we go. This is actually huge, actually. This is massive. Mobile players can now use voice chat, guys. This is going to be huge. And it, this is this is ridiculous, actually. That's a big update. For, for a lot of mobile-only um, Fortnite players, this is massive. They can actually use voice chat now. Oh, my goodness. That's pretty cool. That means people will be able to use voice chat through different platforms, I think. I'm not very sure. But anyway, that is pretty much it for this update. I hope you guys really enjoyed this update. Please subscribe for more. And everything Fortnite, guys, please leave a like in the comment section. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.